Hi everyone. I finally figured out how I can share my information with you in a video and save it for you guys to reference over and over again. So I know we've been over this a lot, but I wanted to be able to share it in a video for you to reference and you can share it and save it for later. And that way you know what to do. So the first thing first we're going to talk about today is how to create an activity in Class Dojo. Let's get started. So here in your class, you'll see if you go to your main page, you'll see that it has your classroom that you've created if you've already created one. Um, but at the bottom or somewhere you have a demo class or a practice class. So this is my practice class. Yours will probably say demo. And this is what you would normally see in your classroom setting. After you have your students added, they'd be right here. And next to your classroom tab is your portfolios tab. So we're gonna click here. And this is what your page looks like. It says create an activity if you haven't done so yet. So when you go in and you create an activity, you're gonna come up to this page here where you can put in the title. And then you can do, let's do um, giving thanks because this is one that I had an idea for this week. So um, you can say, parents, watch the video and ask your child this question. What is something that you are thankful for? So now you can record instructions so that way the the child can see you and what you want to say. So now it's opened up and you guys can finally see what it looks like. I'm going to say, hi friends, I have a book for you today and this one's called Thanksgiving is for Giving Thanks. So we're going to read this story and then I'm going to give you some instructions. So make sure you listen closely, okay? All right, here we go. And then I'll read the story and it's talking about different things that, um, the teacher does. She makes me feel special when she hangs my artwork on the wall. Things that we're feeling good about. I'm thankful for my friends who make me laugh. So this is what the book is about. And then at the end of my video, I'll say, so what is something that you guys are thankful for, friends? What is something that you would like to share with me? Is it mom and dad? Is it your friends? Is it your animals? I want you to draw me a picture of something that you're thankful for. Okay. And then when you're done watching this video, you'll see an option that says start the activity. You'll start right there and it'll open up a little drawing board and you're going to use your finger. So make sure you have something that you can use as a touch screen. You're going to draw with your finger, draw me a picture. Okay. Or you can use some fun stickers and make it fun and play around with it. And I can't wait to see what you guys are thankful for. And then I'm going to, you know, stop recording. So that whole time it would have been recording, but I forgot to tell you to actually start recording it. So then when you're done doing that video and you're done recording, this is where it's going to time down. So you'll count down this is how much time you have left. And if you don't finish before that time, you won't have any more time to do it. So you'll have to start all over again. So make sure you keep track of the time at the bottom. And then when you're done, you would, wow, that's flattering, but <laughs> fun. And so this is where you would see the video and you're able to play it and watch it back. And if you don't like something and you want to redo it, you can hit retake right here at the top or you can just hit continue. So when you hit continue, it's going to upload your video right here. And then you'll see it's posted down here. You'll click the drawing app because I asked my friends to draw me a picture. So they're going to draw something for me here. And then I'm making sure my whole class is assigned right here. I, I could choose, you know, just a couple if you had some that are, um, higher and you wanted to do something more challenging, you could do that. Oops, I forgot to hit send. So, oh, wow, that was nice. It saved it for me. So then I would assign this to the class and then you'd be able to see that yours would look like this. This is where you can edit your activity. You can um, archive it so you can save it for later. So it will disappear and your students won't be able to see it until you're ready for them to see it. And then when you want to go access it again, you would just go over here and you would hit, um, you know, unarchive, and you would do that just by editing it again. So that is how you save and do an activity and upload an activity for your students. And if you have any questions, please refer back to me um, or comment on this or send me any, you know, any other anything else you would like to see. All right. Bye.